I was actually shocked to see that this won Romanian Nationals, because I'm going to be honest, I didn't actually think that we'd be seeing Necroz any time soon. But we're here, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like it's a going second Necroz deck. Hmm. What an interesting concept. So what is up, guys? I'm Cole We're going to be covering some more deck lists that kind of came across my desk this week that I found interesting. And this one actually begs to ask the question of, what happened to Necroz? Why is this deck not doing better? Starring more copies of Vanity's Ruler. So if you have been keeping up with Necroz on uh, a little bit of the support they've been doing for this format, you would have noticed that Vanity's Ruler's kind of come along for the ride this format. And it actually does not shock me at this point that Vanity's Ruler has become the go-to card. I mean, 2,500 body, you have these stupid incantations that you can't really do much with because you can't link them out. But that's not what we care about here. We care that we can put a 2,500 body on the field through a tribute summon and not really care what our opponent's doing, which is pretty interesting. Also, we have Spell Canceler down here, which actually curves our shitty matchups because we get to negate everything on the field. Right? That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that Spell Canceler is a good card? Because here we are. We, we finally did it. So let's kind of talk about this, kind of see what's going on here see why this was good so we have one copy of the vanities rulers i said just a very good overall card that this deck is able to produce and just mess up the opponent we have two copies of the talismandra this is our we get to add a ritual monster from our deck to our hand uh, i think a lot of people are a little bit skeptical on which ratios to play with this deck i actually think this is pretty good so two copies of the searcher we have one copy of the bookstore which lets us target a ritual spell card in our graveyard and recurve back to our hand so this is our floater which is actually not terrible we have triple copies of manju um encore summon search uh which is psh, anything that you need by the way you're able to do it we have two copies of candle this lets us add our ritual spell from our deck to our hand uh so psh, basic stable one copy of shred because why are we not playing this and we played two copies of the plensel plume it lets us target a ritual monster in our graveyard and recur it back to our hand. So this is our basic recursion for the deck. Then we have two copies of Necros of Trishula. Uh, being able to use this as an auto out to a board is phenomenal. Um, if you're stuck going first, you don't really do much with this guy. And that's the part that kind of sucks because he does have to target all three zones. But I, I don't have a problem with that. Like We have two copies of Necros of Valkyrius. Uh, stopping the battle phase and drawing cards is really good. Now this shocked me. We're playing triple copies of the Incantation Chalice Line, uh, which allows us to reveal it and go search for one of these guys, which as long as we got this, we're good to go. But this is really interesting. We have triple copies of the Necroz of Brionic Fire Searcher, two copies of Ben 10, because we should always be able to search for our Vanities Roller off of the Ben 10 so that we can put the pressure on our opponent. One copy of Necroz of Unicorn. We have two copies of Necroz of Colossus, triple copies of Pot of Extravaganza, Triple copies of Preparation and Rites, one Necroz Mirror, one Kaleido, one copy of the Incantation Celebration, he he, we always gotta have his ritual, and then two copies of Kaleido. Now we have triple copies of Evenly as well for the main deck wrap up here. Now, next deck we have one copy of Phoenix, one copy of Gaga Cowboy to end games, one Abyss Dweller to put pressure on the Graveyard Reliant decks, one Exiton Knight for... Honestly, this card is for when you're behind. I think a lot of people kind of underestimate this, or just, I don't know, just don't value it correctly, but I don't know, the card's really good. We have triple copies of Herald of the Arclight, one copy of Virgil, <laughs> that's a hilarious level 6 target, one copy of Star Eater, two copies of Mud Dragon, one Ints, two copies of Dragostopalia, and one Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Side deck here, we have triple Sphere Mode, triple copies of Prankatops, two Spell Canceler, Triple copies of Denko Seca, two copies of Twin Twister, and two copies of Super Poly wrapping this up. What can I say? I'm not disappointed in this. Um, I'm actually quite happy to see that Necroz actually did something, and it does push the agenda a little bit more for people to try this deck. Because I think people are just scared at the moment. And I, I can't really blame you, honestly. Like, it's Necroz. Like, why play this when you can play something else in the format? Now, next up, we have the Chili. Uh, was it Chile? Yeah, this was the Chile, uh, top, or, yeah, Chile National, 10th place, from Brian Ratamal. And this is extra deck True Draco, ladies and gentlemen. Like, let's take a moment to appreciate that. Also, this deck is playing Lose One Turn. Activate this card only 
if you control no splash summon monster. This card's face up in the field. Negate its effects and during the turn that a monster is splash summon. And if effect monster is splash summon in attack position, it gets to go to defense mode. So we're literally losing a turn here. Also interesting to see that we do have floodgates returning here. Uh, dimensional fissure. I mean, it is a continuous spell card, which is pretty interesting. Then we have the one copy of the Waking the Dragon as well here, which is pretty good. Now, I also love the fact that Metaltron Cheese here allows you to cheese out our friend, you know, Mr. Samurai Train, where you just put a 4800 body on the field and just not give two shits about anything your opponents are doing. It's so good. Oh, and I guess we can also bring out Cheese Majestic Star Dragon. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates card effect, tribute this card, negate the activation. If you destroy all cards your opponent controls, once per turn, target one face of monster your opponent controls, negate its effects till the end of the turn. Target one starters in your graveyard, return this card to the extra deck, and especially on that target. Hmm. That seems absolutely terrible, but what do I know? So we have one copy of Metatron, one copy of Dino Might, triple copies of Ignis, the true Draco Warrior, two copies of Majesty Maiden, two copies of Inspector Boy, and one copy of Pot of Desires. Triple copies of Draw Some Cards, two copies of Terraforming, two copies of Duality, triple copies of True Draco Heritage, along with triple copies of Disciples of the Draco Phoenix, one Dimensional Fissure, triple copies of Dragonic Diagram, one copy of Waking the Dragon with two Summon Limits, two copies of There Can Only Be One, two Lose One Turns and one True King's Return, triple copies of True Draco Apocalypse, one of Pure Order, one Skill Drain, and one Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up the main deck. Extra deck down here is one Shizuku, one Kagari, one Sunlight Wolf, one Galtea, one Electromite, one copy of Ningrisu, one Borolode, one Totally Awesome, one Volcasaurus, one Gaia Dragon, one Ultimate Falcon, one Naturi Beast, one Majestic Star, one Samurai Train, and one Dragon Buster. Side deck, two Sphere Modes, uh, uh, uh. two copies of, or excuse me, one Metaltron, one Radeon, one Kumamungus, two Ghost Reaper, Two Draw and Lockbird, one Stormforth, one Waking the Dragon, two copies of Storm Duster, and two copies of Anti Spell Fragrance. Wrapping us up. Congratulations, Brian, on your 10th place. I, I, I know it's a bit of a bubble, but can't be too mad at it. You're playing True Draco. I, I do like the ratios, though. Like, I'm definitely impressed with that. Seeing more use out of Metaltron and pushing for the extra deck version is definitely really good to see in today's community. Now, last but not least, oh boy. We're back to praying, kids. Uh, this was top eight in Costa Rica. I have not heard very much out of praying kids this format. I don't know if this deck just kind of took a back seat and people just kind of forgot about it, or players just haven't wanted to learn the combos. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but that's kind of where we are in today's format. So let's dig on into this. We have two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, two copies of Denko Rekka. Honestly, that. Your Sky Striker matchup is kind of a pile pie. So, like, you gotta round it out a little bit. We have triple dropsies, triple fansies, triple copies of lampsies, and triple copies of roxies, which is all very standard for this deck. I wouldn't change a thing about it. We have triple copies of Called by the Grave, own copy of Fusion Recycling Plant. I've seen this off and on this format in this deck, um, but I would definitely stick to this. Triple copies of Instant Fusion, hmm. When our targets are able to be brought out for our combo, why would you not play that? Two copies of Invocation, one one for one, triple copies of Polymerization, two copies of Extender aka Pot of Desires, we have triple copies of Praying Kids Pandemonium, two copies of Praying Kids Place, two copies of the beautiful pranks, one terraforming, and two copies of the Praying Kids Master Plan. And extra deck down here, one Rip and Roar and Rooster, two copies of Doo 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 Doodle, two copies of Bow Wow Bark. One copy of Phoenix, one Boral Sword Dragon, and one Boral Load. One Totally Awesome, one Abyss Dweller, two copies of the Weather Washer, two copies of Rocket Ride, and one copy of the Batlin Butler. Side deck here, we have triple copies of Lancia, one copy of Gamma Seal, two copies of Ghost Bell, one Thunder King Strike Kaiju, two Twin Twister, triple Red Reboot, and triple copies of There Can Only Be One, wrapping up today's deck profiles. Hmm. Pretty interesting so far. I'm going to be really sad when we go out of regional season and a lot of this information is going to slow down a little bit because there's a lot of good stuff happening here. It's just, it's nice and quiet. And honestly, that's what I like about the game. Maybe. A lot of true Draco, though. All right, guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about these decks. I'd like to hear your guys' opinions as well. And, well, guys, catch you on the full dive. Peace out.
the ride never well truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol 40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.